Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today's subject is surprisingly more relevant than you might think it is at face value. Because, well, yes, there's a new bug in the game. There's a new ammunition bug. We're going to get to that here in a second. It's uh, coming right on the heels of the first round of testing for the new CV mechanics, or as I like to call it, the CV re-rework, right? And one of the biggest concerns I've seen expressed in the comment section about these new CV mechanics is, well, they are more complicated in terms of coding. Because right now with CVs, you essentially, you know, you have your CV, you launch your planes, you control your planes, and you click to attack and, you know, one or two more things than that. But with the upcoming CV changes, if again they do make it to the live server, you essentially have three separate modes for your planes to be in. They all, And each of these modes have different parameters. They do things slightly differently. And in the past, the game has had problems with more simple things when it comes to coding. So, of course, many of players like, well, how buggy is, you know, the, these new SIVA mechanics, how buggy are they going to be once they make it to the live server if they do? So, speaking of more complicated changes that have come to the game in the past few years, let's talk about Burst Fire Mode, or I should probably address it by its full legal name, the Alternative Firing Mode. Alternative firing modes started to show up with super cruisers back when, you know, like the Conde and the Annapolis started to show up after super battleships were added to the game in full. And through the past, like, what, year, year and a half, we started to see these alternative firing modes pop up with some tech line ships like the Spanish cruisers. Now, what happens in this alternative firing mode, you click F on the keyboard and you'll see that, you know, you have the icon pop up. Um, at the bottom of your toolbar and these shell icons on screen change um, image and color and now you're in your alternative firing mode and typically what happens in this alternative firing mode is your ship now will fire instead of you know one salvo per click it'll fire anywhere from like two to three salvos back to back to back again depending upon what ship you're playing and you get, you know, that quick follow-up shot with like usually like a second and a half, maybe like half a second in between the individual salvos. So it's a great way to take advantage of ships showing you broadside or if you had got like HE loaded and someone just put out a fire, you get two or three follow-up salvos on them really quickly, set more fire on, on the enemy ship and do more damage. Now, besides just, of course, having quick follow-up shots, this alternative firing mode, in some cases, changes the parameters of the individual shells. If you have AP shells, sometimes it'll make the AP pin a little bit more. It'll change like the it'll change like the um, arming threshold or the fuse timer. It'll make the dispersion a little bit better. If you have HE shells, it'll make the HE pin a little bit better. So forth and so on. Right? It'll change the base parameters of your shells. So what was discovered? quite recently is that there is a bug where <laughs> if you fire a salvo and then you swap on over to your alternative firing mode apparently the shells will somehow swap out midair to the alternative shells so if it comes to ships like the Conde and I think the Zorky and one or two other ships that have those shells that you know their uh, characteristics are improved when you swap into the alternative firing mode you can just swap them out mid-flight because weird coding so in order to test this I headed into a training room with my Conde now of course do not do not do not do not do not do not go into random battles and intentionally exploit this why? Because Wargaming could potentially ban your account. If you want to have fun with it in a training room, actually I'm not even going to say that because I don't know how they feel about that, but I mean, I don't think they'd care in a training room, right? It's you know, who are you hurting? The bots. You don't get anything out of a training room battle. Um, but yeah, don't do, go do this in a random battles match or in a co-op match or you know in any, any mode where you could potentially profit from it, right? So just enjoy... You know, what I'm about to show you here on screen. So anyway, yes, I went into a training room with my Conde to test this out. Now, why the Conde? Because I didn't feel like buying any other super ships. And, well, 
it's really easy to test out the Conde because the base HC pin of the Conde shells are 40 millimeters. When you swap on over to the alternative firing mode, it cranks it up to 50 millimeters. And I knew that the deck of the Richtofen is 50 millimeters thick. So all I had to do was get some shells to land on the deck of the Richtofen and then see if swapping out between the standard firing mode and the alternative firing mode would, you know, get those HE shells to go through the flight deck. And let's roll the footage. So we are now in the training room. This is just one salvo of the normal HE from the Conde. Uh, the Richtofen is a little damaged because I was shooting it just to make sure I could hit the deck. There you go, you can see five of the shells hit the, you know, the hangar walls and such, they pinned. The six shells that hit the flight deck did not pin. So now I'm swapping over to the alternative firing mode to where these shells now have a buff to their dispersion, I'm sorry, to their penetration to where they can pin that 50 millimeter deck and there you go. 21 shells hit the ship and 21 shells pinned. And you can see the ones that hit the flight deck, they did pin the flight deck and we got all those shells pinning. So now I'm swapping back over to the standard firing mode, hitting the reload booster there to, you know, just speed things up. I'm swapping over to this other Richtofen since that other one, the first one's at like 8K and would probably die in one salvo. Anyway, so shells are loaded now. We're in the standard firing mode and you're going to shoot Sea Lord. There we go. And I've swapped over to the alternative firing mode after the shells have left the barrels of the guns. And there you go. You can see the shells that impacted the deck did most definitely pin. Two, I believe, hit the belt armor on the Richtofen, so they did not pin. But as you can see, I'm aiming a little bit further back to ensure that they do at least mostly hit the deck or the hangar walls. And again, there you go. Every single shell that hit the ship penetrated, which meant that after I swapped to the alternative shells mid-air, those shells did pin. And here we go, we're going to do it again, I believe. Or I think this might just be a vanilla run. Do we swap last second up? This is a vanilla run, and there you go. You see the five shells that hit the flight deck. They did not pin the flight deck armor. I think I aim at the stern flight deck here in a second. Nope, more shells to the flight deck. Swap to the alternative firing mode after the shells have left the gun barrels. And there you go. Again, all those shells that hit the flight deck, they pinned. One, again, I think went low and hit the side armor on the Richtofen. Here we go, uh, swapping to the stern flight deck and letting it rip, swapping into the alternative firing mode while they're in the air. And there you go. Again, majority of the shells pinned with some of them hitting the, uh, the belt armor. I think I swapped back and forth here one time. So, and look, pretty last second swap here. Doesn't matter. 11 out of the 12 hit and pin. So obviously, you know, they're, they're, they're breaching that threshold and pinning the carrier flight deck armor. So obviously this is a bit of a problem because by doing this, you can reap one of the big benefits of the ships that have these alternative shells that improve their performance without paying the toll per se. Because as I'm sure anyone that's played these ships know, after you fire that burst mode with those improved shells, you tend to have a much longer reload time than your base reload time. The Conde, it's like a 28 second reload time after you fire in that burst mode and other you know, burst fire ships have similar trade-offs, right? So by just swapping shells midair, you get to reap the benefits of the improved performance. I mean, getting a, in the Conde's case, a 10 millimeter buff to your HE penetration by just clicking F as your shells are traveling through the air is a pretty big deal. And you, again, you don't have to deal with that long 28 second reload time afterwards. So yeah, it's a pretty big bug at the moment. Now, Wargaming is aware of it as of like 3 o'clock my time this morning, so I'm sure a fix will hopefully be in the works. Now, I'd like to think that there's no way the code was this simple to where you can control what shells are literally flying through the air by clicking F. I mean, maybe it has always been like this, but I, I would like to think that someone would have noticed before now because there's been several seasons of clan battles and such that have included super ships that the, the conde was literally the meta ship for that round of clan battles like two times in a row i remember very vividly getting murdered by the conde in clan battles multiple times so i like to think this wasn't around back in the day because you know surely when you have the most competitive people in the game playing these ships constantly someone would have noticed hey 
you know, when I swap to the alternative firing mode, because, you know, I want my next salvo to be in that mode, for some reason, my standard shells are getting way more pins than normal. I'd like to think that we're all that attentive, but here I am, someone that did play the Conde in those seasons, and I didn't really notice. You know, granted, when, when you're in the middle of playing clan battles, you have other things on your mind rather than seeing if your shells are pinning as they should. So, there is that. But, yeah, it's a pretty goofy line of code, if the code really is that simple. Now, I, I'm no game designer, game coder, anything like that. So I don't know the complexities of uh, game coding and PC coding. It's all witchcraft to me. We, we forced a bunch of electricity through a bunch of rocks and made them think. That's my extent of computer knowledge, right? So I don't know if, you know, maybe in you know, one of the micro updates or with the addition of maybe the last, what was it, the, the Spanish um, cruisers have the burst fire mode as well maybe when they got introduced something screwed up with the code but yeah that is what's going on right now now would i advise you against playing any ship that has the alternative firing mode until they get this patched um i wouldn't advise against it i just wouldn't go out of my way to exploit it in random battles uh, wargaming is usually pretty understanding for most parts about you know how accidentally you can trigger some of these bugs this isn't like the um the railgun bug if you guys remember when that was going on like was that last year or year before last where you have to like kind of really try to get it to work in random battles this is something as simple as pressing f like you just have to press the f key and that's how you activate this and i can imagine this being done unintentionally so easy in random battles because you know you fire that one standard salvo you want your next salvo to be um you know a burst salvo so before your shells have landed you hit f to change over to your burst fire mode and you accidentally give those shells you know improved characteristics as they're flying through the air so it's something that can quite easily be done accidentally it's not like the suit the um the clan battles consumable um, bug where you had to kind of, you know, go through a couple of stages to make your ship invincible. If you guys remember when that was happening, was that a couple of months ago? So I, I wouldn't worry about it two months, you know, if you really like, because I really like playing Spanish cruisers, you know, I'd, I'd very much like to go play Castilla after this, but I don't think they have the, um, the, um, yeah, the, the, uh, they don't get the, any type of armor, um, ammo buffs from the alternative firing mode. But maybe you do like playing Conde or Annapolis or Zorky, you know, whatever ship has these, you know, improved ammo performance bonuses to your, their alternative firing mode. I wouldn't really worry about not playing them. I would just, now that you're aware of it, don't intentionally try to exploit it in random battles. But yeah. So that's what's going on, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Hopefully, we will have a hot fix for it coming out here pretty soon um but yeah just another goofy bug and a, an interesting talking point when again we're talking about all these changes that are coming with the cv re rework and all that jazz so let me know what you guys think about this in comments down below if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel and all of that jazz hope you guys have a wonderful thursday wonderful rest of your week hope to catch you guys in the next one